How's it going, and welcome back to Rage with me, Noble. Now, uh, this is a meaty room. Uh, I gotta say, though, uh, I feel like we lost some horses recently. Is, is anybody looking for any horses? Kraken. Yeah, that's what we, uh, had to fight inside the arena. I forgot that's what it was called. I'm guessing that's where the big guy jumped down from. Anyway. I guess we better take the uh, staircase then. Oh wow, you're actually a cyborg! Oh wow, <laughs> he is a he is a um, what's it called? Uh, what was his name? Uh, Frankenstein's monster, you know. Hmm, I feel like we're gonna be hit with another uh, battle wave. What do you think? Steel AR rounds. Yeah, this is probably where we gotta go. There's a bottle down there. So best we stockpile what we can while we can. Electric wire kit. Canned salmon. Yum, yum. <laughs> uh, let's see. Anything else over here? No. Cheap dress shoes. We gotta sell all this stuff off. Man, I would say I'm surprised no one's uh, taking this loot, but as seeing how many mutants we've run into, I don't think anybody here is really taking any loot. Puffers. Spray paint. That's funny. I already know what to do. Like I didn't hear you coming, jeez. Oh, now that one I didn't hear coming. So survive the wave fight. You got your hit off, but I got mine off too. And mine hits harder. Alright, I think it's open. Try it again. There we go. Lovely. I say those shotgun shells again. The hell are you guys doing? Is this like mutant poop or something? I mean, come on. Last time I seen something like this, it was the movie Aliens, and the xenomorphs would make this stuff out of like their mucus and the meats of the enemies they killed. Oh, lovely. Nah. You are not an easy guy to fight. Yeah, this is the kind of enemies that I was like, we better save the shotgun for. I didn't know they were coming, but I knew something worse was coming, and it wasn't just going to be the bosses. Man, nice brain stem. So, you guys are actually, like, infested with bugs. It's like some kind of plague monster. It's actually kind of gruesome to look at. you kind of the bug eye on this side. You know, you got almost like a hive work inside the skull there. Makes me think of that uh, one guy from Naruto. Um, I forget his name. Was it Shoji? No, I think I'm thinking of the wrong uh, anime. You're not talking about it. If you've watched Naruto, the, the bug uh, ninja... That's all the bugs inside his body and those little cavernous holes. Well, you were once a lady, I guess. So yeah, there is meat involved in this thing, in this nasty hive. But yeah, the shotgun, I think, is going to be our, uh, our number one go-to right now. I don't think we're going to be using a revolver anymore throughout this area. So if that wasn't what we were looking for, what did we pick up and what is it good for? Absolutely nothing. Okay, we picked up... Hmm, excuse me. Certainly we picked up a wire. I thought that's what we needed for the upgrade, right? Turret barrel, books...
Huh, I don't see it in the stock, so... Maybe so that wire was just considered, you know, random knickknacks like this stuff. Because when I saw it, I was like, oh man, we're going to need this thing. Apparently not. Alright. This really is a sucky world to live in. I'd much rather live in the Fallout world where, you know, you got, uh... Zombies, you know, the ghouls and super mutants, but at least you don't have to worry about these kind of freaky mutant deals. Okay, we definitely need to get in here later. Okay, I ended up blowing these kind of things up once before and it got me into a place, but I'm not sure if I can get in there this way this time. So I might try shooting my way in. Can't go up there. And this is locked. It's the way we're supposed to go. Oh. What? Nope, sorry. There we go. Be nice if it puts you right on what you needed to build, you know? Say what I need for later. Come on, good loot. Okay, the room's leaking with the icky nastiness. Oh look, we got uh, half of our components back for building another one of these. Hardware packet. Oh, ordnance pack. That's not what I thought it was. Okay, I'm gonna need to clean up this room right now with this mop bucket. It's just looking kind of nasty. Pinkies. Oh! It made the pinky sound from Doom! Oh, that was a cool little thing there. Instead of Twinkies, it was Pinkies. Turret barrel. Got to sell a turret barrel and some fat boys. Buckshot and steel rounds. That that was a cool little uh, Easter egg there. That, that was nice. I like that. Good job on you. <sighs> hmm. Excuse me. I'm actually recording this episode on uh, Easter Sunday, so... Actually, the last episode as well, but just in case you're curious, I'm a little tired. You know, going around, doing the family thing. Man, mustache hair. It's like, why do I keep feeling something in my mouth? <laughs> hair today, gone tomorrow. Bet you if I blow up the thing, the door's gonna come off the hinges. Yep. Which is just what I needed to do to signal all the enemies that I'm here to be eating. Get my buck shot and steel tipped arrows. I'm probably going to change the crossbow out for the uh, sniper rifle because I just don't have any ammo for it. Pistol rounds, steel AR rounds, fat boys again. I think Fat Mama's is the more efficient one. It's like, it's like, you got yourself your 38, your 357s, then you got some like uh, 50 cal, you know, Desert Eagle rounds. It's like, huh, that's a serious step up there for the Fat Mama's. I want to say they explode like grenade rounds or something too. Is that a watch? You know what? I really don't think I want to stand under this and mess with electricity. I'm gonna be honest with you. I feel like this is somebody's in this thing, isn't there? Come on. Last time this happened, we got ambushed, so I'm just waiting. Yellow, green. 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 Two more. One more. Green. That wasn't much of a surprise. I mean, it was kind of funny. It's like, oh, nothing fell down. It's like, oh, no, he did fall down. Bastard, no! Freaky zombie monster. I mean, I figured there'd be some kind of zombies, but these bug ones are definitely interesting to look at. Okay, this is some leopard dead level BS right here. These 
guys really are kind of like yumps. Doom. Hey, lady. Surprised you survived the first shot. Gotta heal up with a med pack right there, because it's like, okay, <laughs> we're taking some damage. You can tell these artists had some fun making graffiti for this game. But look at this. It's unique and kind of at the same time creepy. It kind of makes me think of something Tim Burton would do as graffiti. That's kind of an interesting thought. Tim Burton levels of graffiti. Graffiti. Hmm, something tells me I'm going to die if I touch this. Well, we know how I am in this game. There's no reason for me not to touch this with my face. I think this is going to hit me. Whee! Ow! Oh, why? Oh, my flesh. Oh, I'm being rendered asunder. Ow, why? Ooh. Okay, still hurts. <laughs> I totally thought it was going to kill me with a single touch. That's why I kept running into him. I'm like, nope, didn't kill me. So, am I going to get like a rocket launcher or something? Because I figure I'm going to have to fight the big guy here in a minute. I figure they're either going to give me a mounted vehicle weapon or they're going to give me a uh, a rocket launcher or some kind of heavy duty weapon for this game. Oh boy. That laser grid room does make me think that... Oh wow, we're actually maxed out on AR rounds? Oh, you better believe we're switching over to this. 1,039 is our max. Well, I didn't realize I'd picked up this much ammo. If I'd known that, we've been using that in the last couple fights. Probably not coming back up this way unless we gotta get that laser grid down and then come back. So we might have a chance to get this, but if not, then this is a one way trip. Oops. Hey, big guy. How's it going? I figured why well, I have a chance to come back up here, I better go ahead and grab that ammo by wasting it on some of you guys. Wow, you're actually really, really fast. Anybody else? Okay, time to grab that ammo. 1,039 rounds is really an odd number for, uh, really an odd number. Uh, <laughs> For um, ammo to be picked up in a game, you'd think it'd be like 2,000 rounds or 1,000 rounds or 1,030 rounds because, you know, 30 round magazine. I think this gun has a, a 40 round mag. But anyway, my point is, you think it'd be a, a, a solid number. Really, this guy should be going down with a single shot or two from the AK. I'm just saying, you know, a lot of people think that rifle rounds, you know, it's like, oh, man, you got to hose them down with a machine gun. Uh, no, no, those rounds are cutting right through their body. They're going to go down just as fast. Massive damage. Guarantee it. This game's like to try to balance things out. That's probably the way I got to go. I could be wrong. Or I could be a sexy beast. Hmm. No, we know that's not true. Oh no, the ambulance! Okay, this does make me think we're more in a European, uh... English-speaking European country. Maybe England, which would explain the British stuff, but then why do we have so many American-accented people? in the cast. Yeah, I really can't figure out where this game is supposed to take place. What region? Unless this is some Euro-America hybrid world. Where England is literally just a few steps to the uh, next country over. It's like, oi, I walked to America this morning from Ireland. Uh, what? Seriously, who left all this meat here? Ugh, nasty. 
This must be outside the hospital. We keep running into ambulances everywhere. Someone left the car on the interstate. Tisk tisk. Another ambulance. You know, I get the feeling that there used to be a town here until something went horribly wrong. I just realized we have pop rockets active. Let's uh, not do that. That would be a waste. My guess is the uh, good, uh, what, what is the bad guy group called? Uh, not the Revenant, they were called something. It's like, yeah, hey, we'll build a town for you, bring your sick and your wounded, and we'll take care of you, and they experimented on them, is what I'm thinking. Turning into these giant abominations and whatnot. Welcome to the washroom. Yeah. Come on, where you guys at? All right. I mean, I'm not a fan of shotguns by any means, but. These guys get close enough. I actually took his head off. That's his brain. Oh, I did not know you could dismember these guys. That's cool. Okay, I learned something new. I'm not a fan of shotguns, but these guys get so close, the pistol just doesn't seem to be worth it sometimes, especially when they're charging in like that. I think I'll save the pistol more for uh, the longer range enemies, uh, like the those British guys we fought. They had their armor on, but sit there and pop them in the helmet when they're sitting there hiding and shoot them again in the head and take those massive damage, so... I'll probably save my pistol for fights like that, and I'll probably start using the shotgun a little bit more on these uh, wannabe zombies here. These feral attackers. Hmm. What's a lovely tree garden you have here? Huh. I feel like something's going to come out of there in a minute. Like, I'm going to go up here and something's going to attack me from behind. Find the defibular upgrade in the hospital. What could go wrong? Well, we're going down there for sure. Nothing over there. Time to build another one. The only reason I didn't build these things ahead of time was I was like, well, I don't want to use up all my parts. Uh, let's build two because I feel like we're going to need another one here soon. Because sometimes you just need these parts for other tools, you know? Kind of a weird grinder thing, you know? Oh, Ferrisite. Back to maxed out on this. Aww. Oh. kind of AR rounds were those? Oh, Ferrisite AR rounds. Oh, I was like, man, we're out of room for air, uh, uh, AK ammo. But nope. That's special ammo. So, how much do we have? 120 rounds. What I assume is going to be armor piercing. And steel rounds actually are armor piercing, which I'm actually surprised. That must mean these are not as armor piercing as the other ones. That one's supposed to be extremely, like, diamond-tipped uh, rounds. I don't know. Theories. We'll try and clear some zombos out with this. Man, I really wish we could get, like, a small uh, red dot sight or something for quick, uh, quick scoping enemies. I mean, this is nice, the iron sight. But, I mean, we got a, what, a stock upgrade? We got a barrel upgrade? We can see the barrel upgrade right there. What all do we get on this thing? We only have 304 rounds in that. Uh, upgrades, there it is. Yeah, so we actually got a hand grip upgrade, looks like, and uh, the barrel upgrade. I thought it was a uh, shoulder stock upgrade, but maybe that was it.
I was like, why can't it go back? I had to click back. Okay, I was wondering what was going on, why it was flashing. I guess it was because I built that thing and it was just sitting in my inventory. It's like, don't forget to use this. No. Let me guess, big guy's going to walk by again, isn't he? I figure they're going to try and shove this guy in my face a lot to kind of make me go, Oh, he's still coming! I told you I was probably going to get a rocket launcher to fight this big guy. My guess is as soon as I pick it up, he's going to attack. I mean, seriously, is this a rocket launcher dispensary? I mean, look at that picture right there. You know what? I bet you it's going to constantly feed me rockets. I'm going to have to fight the guy out here. Okay, it's a lot cooler looking than the Doom 3 one. I'll give it that much. It's got a similar shape and design. Ooh. Nice. Well, <laughs> we're going to be here a minute. Ah, I knew it. Uh. Ow! That should have been fatal! Abomination! Oh no! Ow! I missed my chance! Okay, you guys really messed up building this thing. Come on, show me your nipple. Come on. It's pretty hard to hit him. Let's fire now. Got him. Apparently shooting early was the right way to do it. Ow. So how many more rockets are they going to give me? Ow! Okay, that's a little tougher than I thought it was going to be. I mean, he is a giant monster with a... Take mul oh, crap. Take multiple rocket launcher shots to the face, so I mean... Take it how you will, I guess. I'm glad I saved it here, because that would have been a lot worse if I didn't save it here. I'm going to stay up here and fight you guys. Uh... in the nuts. There you are. I'm about to say there's one more coming. Lead the shots. Lead the shots. Just for good measure. Uh, yeah, we're saving it before we pick up that rocket launcher this time. Screw that. Oh, I stubbed my toe again. Oy, that hurt. Nice split. Feeling much like bananas? Good split. Alright. Oh, we gotta build that tool again. That's gonna suck a little bit. I figure I'd just go ahead and shoot the round off and get them coming. Oh, 
Oh, you guys are coming at me from a different angle this time. I think I saw one to my right, but I was wrong. Okay. A little bit smoother now that we know what we're going up and not going up against. No swampy boys. Eh, let's make two of them again. I totally thought I was going to win that fight, to be honest with you. I was like, oh, this is going to be pro not a problem. I'll just, I'll just fire a couple rockets at him. He'll drop down, proving he's not that much of a threat whatsoever. And, oh my gosh, he's a threat! Why? I didn't see this coming! I was surprised there was actually two ferricide in there, one just one. So that was definitely a good one to go into. Mind you, we haven't found anybody to sell that ferricide off to yet. I bet you whoever it is probably makes ferricide rounds. That's going to be my guess. Because um, I think the fat mamas are made out of ferricide rounds. You have the uh, AR rounds for the AK here. And I want to say there was another weapon that we had already. I want to say... I don't think it was a shotgun. Okay, we are saving it this time. I also want to say that I think uh, part of my problem was that I was blowing myself up the rocket launcher at point blank. I think I should have got upstairs and stood back and shot him in the head when he got close. Just give it a minute. It ain't going anywhere. There we go. All right, King Kong. We're doing this my way. It means we're doing this the hard way. Down the old pretty head. We're doing this a little smarter this time. What do you think? Thank you for that. There we go. Nope, no reload yet. Reload yet, please? I think this thing only gives me ammo when it's convenient for my ammo supply. Like, I have to be, like, really low, I think. Didn't realize he hit me. Which means I need to make sure I'm ready to heal up as soon as possible. Oh, I kill it? Good! I guess I missed the dramatic death scene because Franken-monster here, uh... I thought he was going to attack me again, so I turned my back like, oh, better get in position. Got six shots left. Yep, I was going to say, I'm guessing as soon as he hit the wall, it broke the rocket launcher reloader. Who leaves this thing right here? I mean, what, was somebody planning on, like, some uh, uh, high-value VIP target with an armored personnel and mech warrior companions come down here? It's like, better get that uh, dispenser ready. You're going to have to fire a lot of rockets at that bad guy. Because uh, having it here makes no sense. It's like, what, next to a hospital? Or in a hospital? Because everybody knows you got to store rockets in a hospital. It's like standard practice, you know. We're getting some more authority ammunition. We might change over and start using that a little bit in the future, too. I figured later on in the game, the authority gun is probably going to be like your mainstay. I'll be replacing the AR with that. Actually, let's face it, I'll probably be replacing the pistol with the AR and the... Uh, the... Uh, Shotgun will probably stay, unless I get a better shotgun. Which, honestly, looking at this shotgun here, I kind of feel like this is going to be one of those guns that doesn't really get changed out. 
maybe they'll offer us another gun. Maybe they'll offer us like some full auto shotgun or something, some belt fed shotgun or something. We're like, yeah, we got one of those laying around in the back. It's like that other shotgun's cool, but you gotta try this guy out. Ha ha! Then it's another swampy boy. What do you think? Oh, you know what? Let's save it, because I'd hate to be taken out and have to go through all that again. Uh, well, actually, it's a pretty good point to save and uh, stop it, so. We we fought the big boy. We lost to the big boy. We won against the big boy. It's a winning that counts, so. Thank you, everybody, for stopping by. Join if you liked it. Hit that like, subscribe for future content. If you like, drop a comment below your thoughts, opinions of this game, and other things. Until next time, take care, be safe out there, and I will see you all in the next episode. Bye-bye.